Hi, I'm Jeremy Denk. I'm an American classical pianist, and I've written um, basically a love letter to my music teachers, a story from my first piano lesson to my last, and all the adventures and misadventures and stupidities and uh, epiphanies along the way. Um, and one of the things uh, that I initially kind of resisted putting in the book, I wanted the book to be more or less about music, but then I realized that as I learned music, it was constantly on, against the backdrop of good and bad personal experiences. You know, my family, of course, which was, they had a lot of struggles when I was a teenager and, and all kinds of things. And then I realized that, um, you know, it took me a long time to acknowledge openly that I was gay. And, and that also happened in a very interesting ping pong with my musical development. It's sometimes quite funny uh, and, and also kind of emotionally central. And I think that you know, one of the lessons of the book for me in the course of writing it is that my finding of that identity and, and finding of a musical identity were linked. Um, it, I, <laughs> it's, I was working on my doctoral docu document for Juilliard, you know, my final um, achievement for my long musical education, and I, I ended up, you know, going on this sort of, to this party in Brooklyn and getting quite drunk and then, then hooking up with, with a guy, which I had never really expected to do, and it was a disaster in every possible way because he was freaked out by it, and, and I, I, he woke up miserable and I woke up, you know, radiantly happy. And then I realized that moment, you know, uh, hung over on this floor of an unfamiliar apartment that I had a lesson with one of the most famous pianists in the world, Mitsuko Uchida. There's something about this, like, um, I'm trying to become a musician and, I'm, and yet this other imperative is, is you know, speaking to me. And it was so, um, of course, the classical community was so welcoming when I finally you know, acknowledged it at a summer music festival not long after that. And what struck me while writing the book and thinking about all these years is the way that musical expression and um, personal expression were interwoven and interlaced. And my, my teacher, Shebuk, who I talk about a great deal in, in the book, was all about the truthfulness of musical expression, how important it was to speak Mozart with the right grammar and without false emotions, but to find, you know, the, the center of what he's trying to say about the human condition or, you know. And, and, I, and I felt that finding the truthfulness of my identity was, was the exact mirror of that. It was funny because that summer after I came out, I don't really remember playing the piano for a number of months. I had a month, you know, a summer of just sort of being a person, and then I was able to be a musician, I think, a better musician after that. So that's all included along the way as one of the many threads in uh, Every Good Boy Does Fine.